Welcome back everyone to the fundamentals of mechanical design. Today we're going to be talking a very fundamental, very basic component of our understanding of mechanics. We're going to be talking strength versus stiffness. Very important in mechanical design. Why? Because we may need, in fact we usually always need, to design for both strength and stiffness. What do I mean by that? Let's take a closer look. So we're going to go through strength and stiffness in a holistic way, knowing sort of each of the fundamental pieces of strength of materials. You can always check out the one minute videos in strength if you're not real comfortable with this stuff. But what we're talking about is we've got sort of three basic types of stress and of deflection that we might look at. Three basic modalities, you might say. And the first modality is one where we're either pulling or pushing. And generally we're looking at some sort of rod and that would be axial loading. In the second modality, we're, we're sort of torquing or twisting. And so as we move from sort of a one-dimensional axial loading case to a two-dimensional torque loading case, you can see that all we're doing is we're taking the force information and combining it with the section property information or the geometry information. So when we go and we look at bending in transverse shear in 3D, it's the same thing. Forces and geometry info. That's it. Force over area. That's stress. So where do the material properties come in? The intrinsic nature of the material. They come in at deflection. And so using our material properties, we can actually estimate how something will elongate, how much it will twist, how much it will bend. And this is very, very useful, very helpful to make sure our designs are safe. So what we really are doing here, what's at the bottom of this, is the relationship between stress and strain. You remember strain from way back when? Well, this is the classic stress-strain curve and we get it from pulling a simple tensile specimen. And the interesting thing about this curve is that we always want to stay in the linear domain, the range where it's not broken yet. And that's exactly where we see that it is indeed stress and strain that are connected by the letter E, which represents our stiffness. See you back next time on Fundamentals of Mechanical Design.